That was unfreaking believable. Well, good morning channel welcome back it is Monday April 8th 2024 day of the total solar eclipse and we are on our way to stake out a spot to see if we can't capture some of this on film I gotta tell you it's not looking real good you can see the Sun is out a little bit right now but there are high clouds covering it and there are scheduled thunderstorms later this afternoon so it's not looking good but you know what we're gonna go get set up and see what we can't capture anyway glad you guys are coming along so I have with me today the Insta360 Ace Pro I have my Canon R5 45 megapixel digital mirrorless camera. I have my Canon RF 24 to 105 zoom lens. And I have my 100 to 500. photo zoom lens so we'll use the 24 to 105 and set it up on a tripod and sort of get the progression of the Sun and the moon as it starts to encroach and then once we have totality I will quickly switch to my my telephoto zoom the 100 to 500 and zoom much closer in and take some shots of that and then as it starts to move out of totality I'll switch back to the 24 to 105 and continue taking photos as the moon leaves from in front of the Sun and stitch all that together in Photoshop and hopefully give you a progression pretty cool shot now that's all contingent on these clouds getting out of here and it's not looking good but you know what can you do we make plans mother nature just laughs at us and that's where we are anyway I'm gonna get to Greenville find a place to just park the car set up shop get out a lawn chair get my tripod all set up all the gear set up and and get ready to go I had brought an external intervalometer with me so that I could take shots every so often automatically and not have to touch my camera to prevent it from shaking. Uh, but the batteries inside that thing had corroded and pretty well fried it, so I had to trash it. That's too bad. Uh, but there is a backup. The camera itself has uh, an intervalometer built into it. So we can set that up to take pictures ever so often. So I think we'll be good to go. And also it has a timer where I can press the shutter button and get away from the camera, let it settle down, and take a picture two seconds or ten seconds later. It'll also reduce camera shake. So we're going to try both of those methods and see which one works out. I might just use the timer. I don't know, we'll see. It's about 30 or 35 minutes to Greenville from where I am. It is just after 9 a.m. in the morning. The totality event is supposed to happen at 1.42 p.m. 
in Greenville, so I have plenty of time to get there and get set up and get ready for it. Well, shoot. The closer I get to Greenville, I mean, you can see through some of these windows. Totally overcast. Not just high clouds. Completely covered. going to go with. Hey, they're going to burn off. You guys will recognize Lake Levon where I stopped to take some beautiful sunrise pictures not long ago. I'll put that video up. Or wait, maybe you won't recognize it because it's so freaking overcast right now. Oh my gosh. Zoom in, let's see if you guys can see this. Can we just postpone the eclipse for a couple of days? Two or three till the weather clears out? That'd be great. Oh, blue bonnets. Bet that would be beautiful on a sunny day. Breakfast burrito from Sonic. <clears throat> Wonder how much cheaper it would be if they didn't put those little mints in the bag that nobody eats. Save a little overhead. So as of last night, the forecast for Greenville was high scattered clouds. Well, they're partially right. They're not high. And I guess they are scattered. Completely scattered. Like, everywhere scattered. Well, welcome to Greenville Channel. One of those small Texas towns that you pass through on your way to somewhere else. Very old town, some beautiful old houses here. I'm in a local park clouds are still up there but we can hope for the best here in plenty of time so I'm going to get set up and uh, we'll just uh, wait for the show thanks for joining me all right let me show you around this cute little park here as everybody starts to show up Hey channel, look what we have, a little bit of bright sun, pockets, pockets of blue sky, I'll take it, I'll take it. All right. We're just, everybody's patiently waiting. Waiting for that time to come and waiting for the clouds to part and waiting for the sun to shine. Well, it's about 12.15. Things are not looking promising. Totality is supposed to start at 1.42 today, so about an hour and a half. Maybe it gets better. We'll see. A lot of folks out here. Some serious equipment out here too. Y'all hold your breath. Maybe the clouds will part and we'll get the shot. Stay tuned. Well, the clouds are going to preclude a progression shot, you know, wide angle progression shot because there's only short glimpses of time where the sun's even visible. So 
We're gonna get as many shots as we can of sun with the telephoto on and see what we get. Some people are serious with their viewing technology. Guess what's out, folks? A few breaks in these clouds. And, yep. Getting a few shots. Let's hope it stays like this through totality. That was unfreaking believable. Oh my gosh. Top five experience. We had such clouds up until the last minute, and then they just parted and cleared for some beautiful shots. You by now have already seen the video and the shots. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a top five experience for me. That was simply incredible. Thank you, channel, for joining me today. Wow. Until we meet again, ride safe, friends, and God bless.